Now we've installed Wireshark, the next thing we want to do is take a few minutes and talk about working with Wireshark, mainly the user interface. This is how you're going to interface with the program and actually interact with network traffic. So what we're going to do is we're going to explore this Wireshark interface. We're going to look at the different components of it and how you can access different things to analyze your network traffic. We're going to start with a packet capture. This is going to be our actual static file that we're going to pre uh, present to you. And that static file is going to allow you to look at different network traffic and learn how to analyze that packet capture. Then we're going to examine the window sections. There's three main window sections of Wireshark. You're going to learn each one of those window sections and ways you can do to enhance your analysis of the network packets that you capture on the wire. We're going to identify some resources to assist. That is, where can we go from here? So we have more material in the course, but also places you can go and learn more information about this wonderful tool. So this is the actual Wireshark interface. So when you have a look here, you see we've got Welcome to Wireshark, and under there you have these network adapters. So as you look at this image here, you see these network adapters, the wireless network connection actually has a graph on it. That shows you that the wireless network connection is currently capturing packets on the network. And all we have to do is double click that or click on capture and start our capture and we'll be able to actually identify that. So we have two methods to start our packet capture. We can use the menu, capture, select options, select start, or you can just double click the network adapter of your choice. My preference is to use the capture, the options, and the start. And this is actually what comes up when you use capture, options, and start. As you see here, we have all our interfaces. I have the wireless network connection selected here. And what we do is we just click on start. Once we click on start, we'll start capturing packets. Let's take a look at it. So there's three main sections of the windows. We have the packet list. As you see here in the image, this packet list is showing you the source of the packet, the destination of the packet. So it starts in the far left co uh, corner with the number. And then, self-explanatory, the number of the packet in the trace. And then it has the time, number of seconds ticked off between the packets. The source, in this case we have a Netgear source. And then this destination is the broadcast address. So in this case, it's going to our network broadcast address. And this is address resolution protocol, which is just basically asking who has this address, tell me. And we'll look at that more details as we expand and learn more about TCP IP and how to conduct analysis of TCP IP traffic. Now in the packet details, which is located in the middle window, this is where we get into the actual frame. So as you see here on the actual image, we have the frame encapsulated inside that frame is Ethernet traffic. And inside the Ethernet traffic, we have address resolution protocol. This middle window is where you expand and be able to look at and view additional details of the packet, a thing that we call the header, which we'll learn more about as we continue and build your skill set. The next one is packet bytes. This is in the bottom most window, and as it says, this is the bytes. It's usually represented in hexadecimal, so it's easier to look at than binary bits of ones and zeros. So as you look at this, we see this packet bytes has these Fs. Those six uh, sets of Fs means broadcast address. So now we're just looking at the broadcast address in the actual packet header itself. Now what you see here in the bytes is the destination comes before the source. That's something we'll have to look at as we get more and more detail of how to do packet analysis. So how about some resources for you? Wireshark User Guide is an excellent resource. This is where you can go, you can get information about Wireshark, and it has detailed information on how to use the Wireshark tool, including sample packet capture references. You have the wiki. So if you go to wireshark.org and you select the wiki, that's an excellent source and a resource for you to follow. SharkFest is this annual Wireshark conference that has all these great presentations and conference talks and workshops and how to use Wireshark in even more detail. So again, all these will help you learn more about the Wireshark tool. As we said, resources and references will help you become a Wireshark expert. So what did we cover in this brief section of our module? We looked at the user interface for Wireshark. That is, we saw there was two main ways to start our packet capture. We could double click the interface or we could do it from the menu option. We also explored how to start a packet capture. 
This is, once I start a packet capture, what do I have to look at? Examine the window sections. We have three main sections within the Wireshark interface. We looked at each one of those. We had the packet information, the packet details, the packet bytes, and more information that we'll look at as we get more and more deeper into our information tutorial. And we identified some resources to learn more. We talked about the excellent Wireshark user guide. We talked about the concepts of how you could go to the uh, wiki and you could actually research information on the wiki. And finally, we discussed the excellent resource and reference of SharkFest. Maybe you want to attend a SharkFest or go just look at the information at the SharkFest site and read about the conference talks and presentations that are presented there by some of the top tier talent within the Wireshark community. So now that we've done this, the next thing we're going to do is apply our skills. We're going to apply the skills we just learned and actually use Wireshark to analyze our first packet capture. Next, we're going to examine your first packet capture. We're going to use this excellent reference we've already looked at of how to actually start up Wireshark. We're going to start up a static packet capture file, and you're going to learn how to use these three main sections of the Wireshark interface to analyze and get additional information on Wireshark as we look at network traffic and analysis of that traffic. And this concludes this section.